Hello, welcome to The W. My name is Shay Sorby. Have you wondered what it's like to have your film projected in front of the school? Or have you needed that burst of energy from a class to get your day going? If so, then broadcast this for you. Today, you will be seeing what I see through the lens of a camera. In this course, you will put your communicating strength to the test. You will have to go outside your comfort zone and report on real world scenarios in front of the camera. Since a lot of different things go into the production of videos and broadcast class, I will show you what I have to do every time I need a film for a class project. Let's go. Today, I'm here with a uh, fellow broadcast member, James Maxwell. So James, when you first decided to take broadcast, what interests you about the class? Um, I was interested in out of my comfort zone and like being in front of a camera and doing something I haven't done before. and. You know, being with your fellow classmates, it's like, it's fun. Okay. And I feel like the monthly segments really get fun after a while. Okay. Going off of that, what was your favorite monthly segment that you filmed this year? Mine was the Christmas segment, Chase. Classic. With all the Christmas movies. Thank you. So, why is broadcast different than other electives? In broadcast, you actually take all the things that you learn in other classes and bring them together. So you learn how to write in English, and in broadcast, you have to be able to write a story that conveys just information. You also have to take that story and make it visual, so you have to be able to collect what we call B-roll, um, which is footage about the story. You have to learn how to speak on camera in front of other people, sometimes in front of a microphone. You have to, you learn how to write in other classes. You learn about social study issues, global issues in other classrooms. Just to give you an example, you might learn about something that's happening right now in social studies, but come into broadcast and have to write about it. Then collect visual information like photos and videos and put them all together in, on the computer and make it a visual story. So it's it kind of takes a bunch of different learning skill sets and brings them together all in one place.